All right, uh, good afternoon. First of all, let me declare myself. I'm not a data scientist, okay? Uh, in fact, uh, I'm an oceanographer, okay? And what I'm doing here, uh, I believe that the ocean science that here that we are, oh, this one doesn't work, that we are doing, actually, the require the lots of the uh, knowledge about the data science, and also the, that the, I think I'm coming here to seeking for potential the cooperation and wisdom. So what I'm doing today actually is telling you the story and see the, you know, the, the any chance to do the cooperation. So this is a serious declaration. I'm not a data scientist. Okay. And it doesn't work, it doesn't move. I don't know why. Mm. That's what the, maybe the, okay, so now you can move, right? You can move now? Yes. Okay, so what you see here actually is the data we doing for the ocean study. Uh, this is uh, sea surface temperature, and then the, we generate this data from different ways. And I will show you the, what is this data is about. And for example, this is all the way to Shanghai region. Okay. Uh, the second one here I'm going to show you is our interactive. The, we put the, this all data inside the, to the. I don't know how to work with this computer. The thing. Uh, well, anyway. So this is the, we put the data there. We adopted uh, some of the algorithm, algorithm, and then try to compute the many things by the combined uh, different source of the data from the field measurement, observation, modeling, and to build up the interactive the, uh, scheme. I don't know how to this work, but anyway, this is I try to show you that. Uh, This is supposedly a video. It works now. Okay, so this is a video that we put it uh, some algorithm there and then do the calculation and such as uh, this sea, uh, this kind of the scene. This is a uh, Changjiang and it show you the red tide, uh, that the different kind of the marine species that generate the poison, toxic and not toxic part, uh, but they involve a huge the physical. Uh, biochemical data the, in this study. As I said, I'm going to tell you the story such that uh, you gentlemen uh, can have an idea that how can combine the, with your expertise to integrate it uh, with our study that uh, in this part. Of course, we have our own expertise in the way that uh, we, I think that this field, the ocean science, that actually required that, uh, you know, this kind of the big data, the knowledge the, to move it a step further. Okay, now this is a global ocean, or affect our many things, are about 70% of the Earth's surface. And even in our region, Asia, the Pacific region, it is also the 60% of the world's ocean. Now what is the ocean going to do? Okay, here, well, I'm not trying to do the general education, but here is the motion, water motion in the world. Uh, Deep ocean, surface ocean, it takes a thousand years to finish this circle. Okay, and if this circle does stop, then we have uh, climate regime shifted. Now, this one slowed down as to uh, last two days. Nature has uh, two papers just reported that, that uh, this water movement slowed down. What happened? What's the consequence of this water movement slow down? It will lead to the this so-called uh, day after tomorrow. And we are actually, according to the paper, saying that it is actually happening. Okay, now, we first worry about the climate, you know, global warming. 
Now we start to worry about the ice age. Now all this related to the, you know, the huge global data in order to understand the, this kind of the heat transport uh, in oceans, okay, in the marine island from the equatorial region to the higher latitude, and uh, you know the, how big is this heat? Uh, it's 10 million billion calories of heat uh, are transferred each second, a million times as much powerful as is consumed by entire world's human population. And if this one shut down, okay, I'm just trying to tell you the story and then to the, the tell you the, what is the methodology. Uh, some of you maybe may heard of this kind of so-called Anino, La Anino phenomena. This is a normal situation. 2016, we have a normal situation. That's what, uh, where you, whatever you live, the China, US, you get the, the abnormal, the, you know, the weather, flood, the, or drought, the, everything, okay? Now, this ocean is from the surf, 70% of the Earth's surface, from the surface to the bottom is average 4,000 meters, and it contains physical, biological, chemical, many of the data to join together to determine that this, okay? Uh, this kind of uh, uh, phenomenon I just said. I go back to China Sea is here, the where we are doing here. In this region, that this is South China Sea, it's a China Sea, this is a water motion. So complicated, I don't want to go into details. <coughs> Excuse me. But, you know, the, this kind of motion, and also that you see that we also have this kind of mo the motion, if you do it uh, anim animation, uh, from the, you know, the data and from the computation, we got it, it's like this. Now, this is just the first image we see. Though. Of course, we need to know the more from the surface all the way to the bottom. So there's uh, many ways that to do this kind of analysis, scientific way, but the way we are now doing, it seems like not efficient uh, and based on the geophysical fluid dynamics, yet I think the big data should kick in the, in this kind of the technology to put us into a more, the, you know, the frontline to meet the, the need of the climate environment study. Okay, so this is in Hong Kong region. The, the Hong Kong, well, you gentlemen are in Hong Kong here. This is upstream the, and this is a water movement and you can see all those pollutants carry over here. And then the, you can generate the eutrophication and hypoxia, the low oxygen there. And this is what is happening actually in Hong Kong. Okay. Uh, if you go out there, talk to, you know, the go to Jim Sartre, whatever you go to the coastal waters, you don't see this. But if you use the data to measure it, uh, you know, you see that the oxygen in the bottom actually draw down where the eutrophication, that means the uh, growth of algae is at the surface. And that is lead to Hong Kong has eutrophication and hypoxia, and it was soon the affected uh, Victoria Harbor. Okay, anyway, no government agency is here, but I just, you know, to show you that Victoria Harbor is here. So all this kind of the problem, as I said, we need to have an approach. Of course, our field, we have an approach to do that. We need to do the field survey. Okay, and this kind of our approach, let me tell you that, that uh, how is our approach. This is, uh, you know, the well, cutting edge science and technology together, okay. So here we need to do the field measurement. We need to go field to collect the rocks data, satellite data, uh, in situ data, you send the ship over there to do the data. And then, of course, you're never going to get sufficient data. And all those data we need to analyze this is huge, huge of the data and it's comprehensive and contains so many complex uh, story inside, okay. Now, and then you need to have uh, so-called, uh, you know, from computation, we use uh, geophysical fluid dynamics model, or basically it's an ocean atmosphere model here, and then we integrated the data and the model through the data simulation, through the ensemble process of carbon filter, and we then corrected the error of the model, and vice versa, then we go back after the model get it, we then can actually help the field measurement to be more accurate because it's too expensive to, or it, and it's impossible to do every point, every corner. And then it can feedback all this, and we use. I, I don't want to go into detail. I said that I'm going to talking about just a story, and then from here there, I think we can then diagnosis. This is a key word here, diagnosis. How can we, besides uh, you know, the using the those kind of our knowledge that, that we can make this data more efficient, more useful for doing the, this kind of the policy, the study. Okay, 
and I think that uh, uh, this is not in our field yet. Uh, okay. Now, this is a field measurement. I'm going to quickly uh, show you this kind of lots of data corrected will be corrected. And then, of course, you have a computation. It's uh, fluid dynamics, geofluid dynamic computation. You need to have an atmosphere motor. This uh, part, we need to build the upper ocean motor. And then you will need the ocean motor. And then you need to, in the regional, you need to have uh, you know, the local the forcing, remote forcing, numerical algorithm. Okay, for to solve these equations and then you program in execution motor data processing in this. I'm talking about this part that uh, how can we move this word uh, one step further uh, to make it more efficient. I'll give you one example only at the end here that uh, we are currently uh, doing that, uh, working, collaborating with uh, some of the your expert uh, in the field. Okay, now this is the numerical model we develop. Uh, this, uh, equation that we use, okay, to solve that model. Again, the no details. And then, the, of course, you need to have a numerical scheme how to make it work. And then later on, the, you need to build this kind of the big system, okay, that, uh, you know, entire sea. And in order to zoom into the location, then you need to increase the resolution, increase the computational demand data, and then increase the data, you know, the uh, size and then also that you added about your chemical in and all this data interlinked and how we go into comprehensive put in the one platform such that uh, we can then comprehend them the, uh, in the more efficient scientific way the, and this is the I think uh, maybe we can and of course all this kind of thing you need to link by the, some kind of the numerical the method and this is uh, some kind of the methodology that link the different uh, this kind of the system from our part, not from uh, the, I believe you guys also have uh, other part to, to link them, this kind of the different system together. But from our part, we link, just let it, uh, you know, can be put into forward to, to do the computation, okay. Now, and then we put in the fast machine the, in the world, the supercomputer to do that. Uh, now, this is just for the computation and the data put it there. We need to build another platform. Actually, the, the movie, I cannot show it very well. The, at the beginning is the first one we build up. But inside, we still have many of the problem. I just come back from the meeting uh, yesterday and for that story. And uh, you know, the, when we realize we still have many of the, this kind of problem, we need to resolve that in order to build the, the interactive system between the, this kind of the big data system you know, the efficient uh, analysis and then the, our application the, together. All right, examples here that led, uh, you know, that we can see the South China Sea, that we use our this system to build up the, the, the you know, to calculate this. We know that, that the current is moving the, in alternative uh, rotating the weight from the surface to the bottom. Okay, now this kind of data that used here that then can be used uh, more efficiently to zoom into or to interact to analyze the you know the refracted the needed of the different way, including the fishery, the biological, and even military. Okay, and I think the military should be very concerned about here that because, and I believe the U.S. model doesn't do it right, didn't do it right. Okay, and I checked their model, it didn't do it right. So anyway, we try to find the, this kind of thing and biological. You can have a, this is a coffee, a productivity, biological productivity. And this is, I just show you surface. And if you take this check from the surface to the bottom here, the, this is shallow water, but here is 4,000 meters. And you have so many of the, this data. The, and how can we build up the one platform the, to do this kind of analysis that we needed, for example, very simple, that many biologists, the, they try to see the, okay, what is the, you know, the, just the you know variance and uh, what is the you know the covariance in the you know the three four dimensional space and can we just not to go into uh, you know the all the details they don't know how to calculate them you know the in and handle this big data can we have a you know the better way the or efficient scientific way to make it uh, work okay uh, but this and then of course you can you know the or. We can input that, my understanding, okay, correct me, I'm wrong, that, that, that you can build this kind of the geofluid dynamics uh, system into the integrator with this big data system such that uh, they can be used, uh, because this will require many of the data, 
okay, to understand what is underlying the control the mechanism and then how can you build in, integrate this kind of the science with the, you know, the data, the science together to better serve the purpose. Okay, and uh, I will skip here faster that, uh, you know, since too many stories, probably it's too boring. This is the story here that we, you know, the, the background there is our simulation that generate the four dimensional time dependent data and the very high resolution, the, so, the, the high resolution is every one uh, 100 meters. Well, the only observation data is only this few point. Okay, we can only afford that much money, that much energy go over there. But this tool then integrated through the carbon filter in some of the method to correct each other. And then later on, that we then generate the data set. And that data set have another purpose to serve the policy uh, making the uh, process. And this, for example, I show you that what is happening here that in our water here, bottom, there's no oxygen in the summertime. And the surface, you have this kind of wet tide. Okay, and we're going to, our, our task is building, build a, a, a system that allows the government to use all this source of the data to do the monitoring, prediction, and management. Okay, and uh, this is a huge engineering and science as well. Uh, this is our simulation and, our, and of course here there are also people talking about uh, you know this kind of platform, this kind of the science engineering in, you know the combine together you know the platform that can be for energy okay that this is uh, people talking about here try to build the the, uh, the so-called the green energy and then the, you know the hopefully this kind of system can help but located the you know the location and the uh, conduct the feasibility, the analysis, typhoon. Okay, uh, people from other part of the world may also experience this. And this is a typhoon the last year, and also this year hitting Hong Kong. Okay, so this system we hope that uh, they can, uh, you know, the, not only from the large scale, not only from the ecosystem, from the everything, but then, the, you know, the including the typhoon. And this is what last year happened uh, and killed the 13 people in Macau. Uh, and we actually do the, this kind of the simulation. Okay, you can see that that uh, water level in Macau was increased. And then, the, you know, the, it's just the typhoon moving here. The sea level is highest in Macau area. It killed 13 people. If we have this and the forced uh, their observatory, the director retire, resign, no retire. Okay, so then, the, you know, the, we hope that, the, you know, based on the, our geofluid dynamics, physics, oceanography, ocean science, the, and then can integrate it uh, with, the, say, such like uh, data assimilation, and then data assimilation combined together, build the platform, the, you know, the, to do the large scale, full scale, comprehensive the, uh, analysis. Okay, uh, I will skip this one, that this is our warning. We can do the forecasting, okay? this platform. But now we're doing the piecewise and it's not efficient. Okay, and then the last slide, so I will show you the, you know, the idea. We'll try to put it forward, uh, combine the everything together. This is the sea surface temperature now. This is 50 years later. 100 years later, this is a difference. Our sea temperature, sea surface temperature actually is increased according to IPCC scenario, if this one is real. Okay. And then you can see the biological productivity. Uh, nobody care about other things. He's talking about the new trend that decrease, uh, that nobody care. But if he's talking about the biological productivity, all those blue that are arrow, the decreasing. It means that the fisheries, uh, we probably don't have a fish. You know, the fish productivity will go down the layer. The, even you try to do the, you know, the farming, aqua farm, uh, aquaculture, it probably won't work because it don't have uh, any kind of the source of nutrient. And again, the, this is not only I showing you just the surface one, but the whole water column is collected. Uh, and the data are huge, uh, physical, biochemical, uh, together, okay. Uh, Hong Kong, though, also you have this kind of temperature increase from now, 50 years later, 100 years later, sea surface temperature, okay. But then the CO2 increase also, if you see Hong Kong CO2 going to change, you see this figure that going up there. Okay, I hope the last slide that you can work. Okay, this is our system. 
based on the idea I just said. We use the algorithm, the not only science, okay, including the geo fluid dynamics, the equations, long equations I showed to you, numerical methods, but then the different kind of the data. And this data need to do the interlink, inter you know the correlated, intercompare, inter you know the well, joined together to give uh, you know the, the story here. And uh, it seems like uh, it's related to uh, this kind of thing all more advanced after we can do this kind of the inter, inter things that it can be a more like a AI part. Okay, so this is a one example that we did it in China Sea and there's uh, many options of course inside the loss algorithm and then the, also the methodology it is not the kind of the advanced and sufficient uh, that we see we can try to do this area and we put the square there and then all combine the all data together to do the statistical and correlation all, all kind of the thing and then it can automatically pump up the uh, thing but those computation though uh, and also the algorithm we still have a huge the challenge to face us and again the, I just tell you the story and I'm looking for you know the possible the you know the suggestion wisdom and the cooperation I have an email there and anyone the, uh, who are interested uh, please you know email me thank you very much No, it's not shallow. It's a uh, primitive equation. The shallow water equation is just integrated uh, and you have a constraint. So it is a full navel stock equation. Also three-dimensional. Three-dimensional. So you do deep, deep water as well. Yeah. Many, many of the uh, um, simulations that you show, I don't see the wet and, and dry. Uh, we do. Plant, right? We do have a wet and dry. I just don't show me there. You can have a wet and dry, as for example, the storm surge, they flooded Hong Kong. Once the water going out, that grid point that is not computational grid point anymore. So then the, you have a scheme to transfer the, between the wet and dry. Yeah, that, that looks more physical. Uh, um, of course, we do like that. We have a wet and dry. Yeah, some of your items see it wet and dry, so that's why I'm yeah, very, we do it. Very, very nice. And actually, we're going to get the, the you know the city map, and that's u using another the you know the big uh, GIS uh, si system that uh, all the all the way to the street. Okay, so the flooded the building height and all these things, uh, and combined with this hydrodynamics, mm -hmm. and then the you know the atmosphere combined together. It's a huge engineering thing, uh, and then the, you know the, I think the Macau government, Hong Kong government, Shenzhen government, and so called uh, now if you heard about it, the Great Bay Area, we are doing this kind of the efforts, and I believe that that uh, what we are lacking it cannot be it got to be interdisciplinary, it got to require the people from different fields, and I thought that they, I may come over here, and uh, jump into and give uh, this kind of talk. Okay. Very complicated. Just one more detail. How do you solve it? Finite difference or finite element? Uh, this is a uh, finite difference. Okay. Explicit time step and not implicit. Implicit, explicit depends on what kind of the, uh, the problem we are addressing. Okay. So we also use that. But in this case, it's most of the time explicit. Yeah, I mean, Our stability is pretty okay. But then the explicit is safe uh, computational. Exactly. So also, when you do parallelization, it's easier, right? Oh, it's not easy to do parallelization. That actually, this model, the sixty percent, we can do the you know the maximum. So we don't have that kind of the high efficiency. We feel like we can do it better, but it's not that good yet. Such that uh, you know that we can use our computer uh, better. Now we can do this work. The reason is also thanks to the Tianhe computer. Uh, one in Tianjin, another one in Guangzhou. Both of them, I'm almost the first user. Okay, we work with them and they uh, solve a lot of the problem, technique problem uh, link with uh, those thing. How many data points and is that plus minus so many degrees? Only measurements I'm asking. Oh, measurement you're asking here. 
We have a different kind of measurement. You see that you can use the satellite data, I don't see that. But satellite, I don't can show you here, satellite can only see three surface. Okay. But we need the three dimensional order way because a different part of the leg. So you need to send a ship there. And this ship uh, every day costs 200,000 Hong Kong dollar per day. <coughs> Our RTC grant is only 600,000 dollars. If you are good lucky, you know, lucky, okay. Six hundred, so three days, finish, okay. <laughs> you cannot do anything. And if you hit the, run into typhoon, three days, you just pay 600,000 per time. Because you still need to pay, you sign contract with the ship. Anyway, we use the automatic uh, this kind of system, the real time is here, and satellite coming here. This one, the, to answer your question, it's a surface parameter, temperature, salinity, chlorophyll, nutrient, uh, well, phosphate, nitrate, the silica, the many other, you know, the, the, and for this one being going down there, you can get the, the current, the water movement, all the way to the bottom. Okay, you use high frequency, low frequency, higher frequency, you can dip a, and it's a deeper one, low frequency, you just get the upper part. And then we do the real time sampling to, you know, the, we cannot put it everywhere that have this kind of thing. Uh, each one costs about three million. And it costs, it, it lost it. I lost one, three million. It's just, you know, someone took it. <laughs> and anyway, you have all this kind of the province, uh, sensors here, and this is the temperature and and also the large geochemical data. So we, if I have to list the all those data, hundreds of the data, and some of them is taking this water back to the lab and do a laboratory experiment. But no matter how you do, you cannot cover special temperature, the, you know, the need in the ocean. And then you need to use this kind of medical computer. But once everything here all come together, it's a huge, huge data set. I have a 40 bit uh, cheat uh, in a computer two days, my student quickly figure out. Uh, and uh, this is uh, very difficult to do with that. So I heard that uh, some of talk uh, this uh, data size, and I thought that uh, maybe the, when you know the professor asked me if I can come over, and I thought I maybe come over here uh, to just uh, introduce to you three of the paper and see that you have something that potentially you can do the cooperation or private. Yes. Okay, so we are like half an hour behind the schedule, so maybe we can have a 15 minute break and come back 4 p.m. for the second half of the session. Okay. Yeah, half an hour break, today is not my fault. Right? <laughs> no. It sounds like my fault. Yeah, you are, you are 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, thank you.